Hello, this is J.C. Bushow, and this is the presentation portion of my final project for CN316. Uh, here we'll be uh, creating a LAN that will have connection to the corporate servers, and that's basically what I have illustrated here. Uh, this connection will be made from a point-to-point uh, -point, uh, virtual private network, or VPN. Um, as we can see, we've got obviously not the entire infrastructure but just basically for uh, uh, demonstration purposes we've got a couple different servers here on the corporate side uh, switch the router and then safely tuck behind the firewall as I scroll down here to our LAN uh, we will see the internet which obviously the uh, VPN will uh, make the tunnel between the two routers to be able to communicate with and then on uh, the office side um, will have a router to uh, be able to handle the IP addresses uh, for the various workstations and different network uh, nodes that are in this local area network. And I've also got a couple different switches. Um, this project basically called for uh, 15 people to start off this new venture in this um, off-site office. Obviously I wanted to have room to grow um, for actually for starters I started off with 16 machines versus just a 15 and the reason being is if there was a machine to go down or let's say if there was an immediate additional uh, new hire to the team there would be a workstation that would be available for them. Um, being that we've got uh, a file and a print server uh, a couple different network printers and um, and 16 workstations this all could have been handled with a single uh, you know say 24 port router um, but for obviously ease of installation and uh, really not knowing the topology of the office that this would be in, I broke it into a couple different segments. So we've got the router uh, giving, which obviously is a, a, la a layer three device in the OSI model, um, would then be connected directly to, I, I, I call it a 12 port switch. This 12 port switch would be connected directly to those network printers as well as the server and then I'd have two additional 12 port uh, switches that would stem off from there. Uh, reason being is you've got a single wire going to each one of the segments um, you know versus having you know 16 wires and then if you had to make another addition to uh, the team let's say you'd add three more workstations that would be three more um, relatively long runs of cat5 cable where in this situation you've already got a 12 port and a 12 port and so it'd just be simply a matter of adding a workstation and connecting it in and giving it an IP address. And as we learned, switches work on the um, on layer two of the OSI model. Uh, one of the reasons, I, one of the things I like about switches versus hubs is a switch will actually look at the destination information. So say for example, this particular workstation here requested information from one of the corporate servers. Um, it's it's going to have uh, header information, um, works its way up through the VPN, back up to the corporate side, and as it comes back down through the router and to the switch, the switch will know that it was this computer that made the request versus where a hub would just redistribute all that information uh, to each one of the workstations and let them figure it out. Um, whenever you have uh, extra information running through a network uh, obviously it can slow down uh, the speed of the network because you have additional traffic anytime you have additional traffic there's always um, that possibility of having any kind of issues collisions etc etc so it's one of the nice things about a switch versus a hub is it really reduces the traffic that's found on a network so as a uh, basic recap for our local area network uh, we've got currently 16 uh, workstations um, broken into two different segments of eight which are connected to a 12 port switch which obviously would give you uh, ease of installation of four more uh, workstations in each one of those um, different segments and then those would communicate to uh, the, the top switch here which then would give your network printers um, connection to your file and print server here and then as we move up here we got the uh, layer 3 uh, router which then would make that uh, VPN connection using the internet giving access to uh, the corporate side and the corporate servers. Uh, these connections down here being that it's in a relatively small office are all going to be uh, just a, uh, a UTP 
Cat5 cable. There's really no need to run fire, uh, excuse me, uh, fiber optics as as a connection because the the length was just not a, a necessity, and, and uh, speed of the network would be just fine with the Cat5 cable. And once these connections were done, uh, you would basically have a, a local area network that would be ready uh, for productivity. And uh, once they got those 15 bodies in there for that new adventure, they'd be able to get right away to work and would have ease of expandability. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to look at my presentation. Additionally, you will find uh, the an attachment of the, the full uh, project uh, with some additional details as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.